So if we think they study less, that means that mu1 would be less than mu2, or that's what we're trying to show. So again, this is the do not group, um, which is going to be that green group. And then this is the do group, which is the yellow group. So I can just do it here. And then again, we're going to coincide. My mu1 is going to be that green. And then mu2 is the yellow, which because do not is first and we want it to be the smaller of the two, that's how I got that. We do know that they're independent because I wouldn't expect that time to study would impact one group versus the other group. Um, with the reviewing other conditions, you can see that our histogram actually is a little skewed and there are outliers, but with the sample sizes as large as they are, I am not concerned with that. So I'm going to say in this reviewing conditions, um, good given sample size. Okay, so now we're on to our executing calculations. So we have a T that's given to us at negative um, 2.24917 and then a p-value given to us of 0.8033. However, now this is going to be a little tricky. This that it's given to us is a not equal to. That's a two-tailed test, but technically we're only interested in one direction and so we need to get half of that uh, p-value out because it gave us both tails and we just want the one tail, the left tail test. And so here I would have a p-value of 0.40. Let's just leave it at that. That's good enough. So <clears throat> that's the p-value. With that p-value, um, it is large. And so we're going to fail to reject the null because that p-value is large. So when you fail to reject, what type of evidence do you have? Yes, insufficient evidence to suggest the mean study time and what you'll notice is I put um, I put the the two variables or the, excuse me the two mu's, um, but I reverse them from the alternative. So this alternative is mu one is less than mu two. So I I actually stated mu two first, which is those who ride the bus, so that I could say more than. But it would just be as acceptable to say there's insufficient evidence to suggest mean study time in hours per day for students who do not ride the bus is less than the mean study time um, for study time in hours per day for students who do ride the bus. So you see how those two compare. You can flip flop them um, and then you would just adjust the more than. I said more than just because that's what my first question asked. But you could restate your alternative verbatim and take mu1 and then say less than and then state mu2. So then the colors would be reversed, but so would the comparison. So that's it. That's the end of our hypothesis testing for two independent population means. Um, in the next video, we'll do a confidence interval. See you there.